with you that hookah did. Now hookah is a young man that has a very interesting Spanish uh, speaking channel. He's one of uh, the followers of AMLO, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, the Cuatro um, T, and so he's part of the network that comprises the um, what the president uh, AMLO refers to as the uh, holy web. Because um, one of the things that happens is that as we all know, the media controls a lot of what happens, uh, particularly in politics and in the goings on of the country. And so for many years, uh, uh, people have not had the truth. It was given to us the way they wanted to say it. And um, a lot of the times um, they were trying to, in how shall I say, they were trying to get us to do things their way or to, I can't think of the word, when they're, oh, they were trying to influence us to do whatever it was, whether it be buy something or vote a certain way or believe something was happening that wasn't, um, anyway, things like that. But in the, in the field of politics, um, uh, the news was paid, the, the media were paid in order to um, skew things in the direction of whoever was paying them. And everyone knows they do that. However, um, before, if, if they decided to wipe the floor with you and, and give uh, very bad um, information regarding you, then you had no choice but to take what they gave you. But now, with the web and all these YouTubers that are out there um, and, they're, and they're fighting AMLO's fight and they're helping him and they're helping to get the word out because people are so misinformed. People don't realize what's good, what's happening. Um, especially, I say, especially Americans. You know, Americans um, are fooled the most. They have no idea, uh, or, or I don't know if they do or they don't, I know I didn't, that uh, we're being tricked by the media. And that, uh, for example, uh, when it came to Bernie Sanders, you know, uh, the previous elections, um, everybody uh, knew they wanted someone like Bernie, but... Uh, the, he wasn't picked by the electoral college or whatever. So uh, then that meant that he had to be with the Democrats in order to, to uh, or to kind of back them so that the Democrats wouldn't lose because they were afraid Trump would win. And, and they kind of shot themselves in the foot because they wound up getting stuck with uh, Trump anyway. And um, they all lied about uh, each other, you know, except for, uh, well, not Bernie, I mean, but <clears throat> Trump and um, Trump and and Fox News and and all the media, CNN, I think, all of the ones that were, um, you know, trying to control and influence uh, what people saw and believed, and uh, they would uh, put um, confusing numbers, uh, numbers that skewed in the direction of whomever they wanted uh, to look like they were winning. Uh, they didn't always tell the truth uh, about uh, who was ahead and all that. So people thought, oh, well, we're going to go with this one because that one's not doing so well, etc. But anyway, so this guy uh, is a very young um, man that I, I am very uh, impressed with. He does such an excellent job. He gets the news every day, very frequently, and he does all his research, digging, so he's always got good a uh, supportive uh video uh and documentation to to show you that what he's saying is true and it's widely available um nothing nothing made up you know and that's and that's kind of uh amlo's creed you know do everything with the truth and you won't have anything to hide so um this is uh one of uh, one of uh the videos that came out today that i was really impressed with so uh, this one is regarding uh, 
the Maya Train uh, winning uh, the Oracle Project of the Year award this year. And um, this this was um, a uh, a video, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, a pet project that um, uh, Carlos X. Gonzalez uh, was, I'm sorry, not Claudio X. Gonzalez was fighting against, just like the Texcoco, uh, uh, you know, the, the lake, uh, the, the airport they were going to build in a lake was the pet project of um, Claudio X. Gonzalez. And um, he, uh, and he got all the stays and, and uh, holds and, and made it very difficult for the uh, airport to be built. So they're a little bit behind right now, but they're back on track. Uh, but anyway, so now the other project that he was going against, because also he had vested interests, was the Maya train. And um, and it didn't go too well for him with the situation with uh, the uh, airport uh, thing. And now the Maya train thing, because now that, that uh, the Maya train is winning awards, even before it's built, it's going to be very hard for him to make it look bad like he's trying. Because most of the uh, Maya train already has the railway. Uh, the tr he's trying to say, oh, it's an environmental problem. They're going to destroy a lot of the area. But there's only 100 meters that don't already have railway. So it's a big lie again. And so uh, he's he's been doing this uh, all along with different things. Like, for example, uh, they tried to say that the existing airport was a danger for uh, the planes uh, because, oh, I don't know, the air, the, 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 they tried to say that, that the um, birds would go and, uh, you know, cause danger, you know, get into the, the motors of the air airplanes or whatever but as it turns out the um the place the lake that they were trying to build the airport in actually did have many migrating birds and it actually would be a problem there so fortunately that didn't happen because you can only imagine the number of deaths that could have happened because of that but in any case let's get back to the story um mr hookah has um, made this video and I really enjoyed it and I thought I'd share it with you and translate as we go. Ahí estamos por acá con más información. Espero estén teniendo un excelente miércoles 23 de octubre. So he's saying we've got some new information. I hope you're having an excellent 23rd of uh, October. De veras que pobre Claudio X González. Les... So he says, oh, for sure, it's such a bad thing for Carlos X. Gonzalez. Poor guy. Está lloviendo sobre mojado a este señor. Primero que... So he says it's raining a wet uh, sun on this man el de Santa Lucia. that was trying to sabotage the airport in Santa Lucia. Después queriendo sabotear eh, al presidente Andrés Manuel diciendo que... And then he tried to sabotage the president, Andres Manuel, by saying, sus, sus no iban en... by saying that his uh, companies, uh, Kimberly Clark, uh, were not going to invest in Mexico. Mexico. Yes. Oh, and by the way, that backfired terribly on him because the Mexican people said, oh, really? Well, we won't buy those products. And his, um, and his uh, stock dropped. It was a terrible drop on his stock, and uh, people just decided, you know, they're not going to buy his products. And it's papers like, I don't know, diapers, uh, uh, sanitary pads, uh, napkins, paper towels, things like that. Um, and that the people said they're not buying it anymore, and um, they're angry. Now that they know what he owns, they don't want any part of it. Se le voltean las cosas. Y ahora... So things are always turning around on him. Este golpesazo para Claudio X. González. And so now another big um, hit on Claudio X. González. Le otorgan 
un premio internacional, un premio mundial. A... So they they uh, award uh, a international award to uh, Maya Train. Al proyecto del tren Maya. De veras, amigos, amigas, que entre más quiere joder al pueblo. So truly, my friends, male and female, that the more he tries to harm AMLO, he winds up getting smacked right back. Es peor. And it's worse for him each time. Amigos, amigas, les invito a que se suscriban a este canal, que activen la campanita de notificaciones para que les lleguen todas las notas. So he's um, asking you to subscribe and uh, hit the little bell. Bien, es una excelente noticia y no podemos dejar de decirlo. So he says, yes, it's excellent uh, news and we can't stop saying it. Son grandes noticias para México. Que es it is great news for Mexico. Este proyecto del Tren Maya, un proyecto that this project, the Train Maya, which is a project, que significa mucho para el gobierno del presidente Andrés Manuel, un, which means so much for the government of uh, uh, the president Andrés Manuel, proyecto que marca definitivamente a la cuarta transformación. This uh, project truly demarcates the fourth transformation. De hoy obteniendo un premio internacional. Ya and today it was awarded an international award or prize. Mucho se habló de este tema. And lots had been discussed regarding this matter. Sin embargo, yo quiero enfatizar. But even so, I want to emphasize. En el sentir de los conservadores. ¿Qué está? The feeling of the conservatives, which are the opposers. Pasando con los conservadores. So what's going on with the conservatives? ¿Qué está pasando con la oposición? ¿Qué está... So what's going on with the opposition? ¿Qué están haciendo mal? What are they doing wrong? Entre más están atacando y cuestionando al so the more they attack and question the president, it seems to have a boomerang effect on them. And give me just a second. I'm going to switch the video to a different one. That's just more of a close-up. Oh, no. Okay. So let's go back. And here. Todo se les regresa, pero con un cachetadón. So he says everything's uh, returned back to them with a big old slap in the face. Con una dimensión de poder with a dimension of power that's very high. Recordemos Claudio X González. So let's recall that Claudio X González. Penas hace una semana seguía. So maybe approximately a week ago. Saboteando el tema de Santa Lucia. Was sabotaging the the matter regarding Santa Lucia, the airport. Penas hace un día. And only one day ago, he tried to uh, sabotage the government, saying he would not be investing in Mexico. And we already know that he has uh, said he's going to be putting uh, some uh, stays or holds, or uh, they're, they're like these things that you do in the with a judicial um, uh, and legislative department where they put a hold on any projects uh, because someone has litigation pending. And he's also against the refinery. So everything that has to do with making Mexico better and improving and correcting the damage that was done by the previous uh, governments that, you know, basically... Uh, closed up all our refineries, made us sell our petroleum to the U.S. so they could sell back the gas to us. Rather than allowing for the uh, correction of these things and for a refinery to be built 
like it's supposed to be. Um, in fact, they're repairing and uh, they've already got most of the uh, or several of the refineries re uh, refurbished and in in uh, full force. And so the uh, the situation is getting better in Mexico, you know, for for gas prices. ¿Qué creen? Hoy una un un en un evento. So today at an event. Durante el once foro de liderazgo de infraestructura en América del Norte. So during the forum of uh, the. Um, uh, something in North America where they were giving awards. Entregan un premio mundial, un premio internacional. Al... So they give or award a international award, the Oracle Project of the Year for Creation, Valor, and Benefits. Proyecto del Tren Maya. Así, así como lo estamos escuchando. No puedo... Just as we say it, this is exactly how it happened. And we cannot say enough that these are, this is excellent news. So, but I wonder, and I don't know what Carlos, X, I'm sorry, Claudio X Gonzalez uh, is thinking or saying now. Esto es una realidad, lo anuncia el secretario. So this is a reality. It is being announced by the Secretary de Turismo, of Tourism, Miguel Torruco Marquez. Torruco Marquez. Después se anuncia también a través. And then also it is announced uh, via the uh, Train Maya. Uh, it's a uh, Tren Maya. It's a site that is all about the Maya train on, I guess, Twitter. So I'm going to go check it out. Uh, but that that's really interesting. So uh, they've got the, uh, the Maya train also says, uh, it was uh, awarded the category of creation and valor uh, and benefits in the, um, what is it, undecimo uh, foro. Uh, it's a forum of, of North America and leadership infra and infrastructure in Washington, D.C. So it's from the official uh, Maya Train uh, page on Twitter. So he says he can't put on the audio, but he wants to show this video. Este Regarding this event. El Tren Maya, dice por so, acá, fue premiado en el undécimo foro norteamericano de liderazgo en infraestructura. So, he says... Ganó en la categoría de creación de valor y beneficios so de los premios. So, he's saying what we said is up in the blue, right. El foro right. reconoce proyectos innovadores en Norteamérica en categorías como... So, they recognize innovative... Uh, uh, inventions uh, with sustainability, strate strategy, creation and valor, and financing. Oh, and engineering. So he, it says there the winners are recognized for being projects with impact, uh, positive impact in the communities and the economy of a certain region or any region. So that is uh, by the Maya train. I wonder, uh, well, I wouldn't be able to um, show it anyway in English because it's in Spanish. So they are showing it on the uh, Maya Trains page. Ya diferentes medios de comunicación están abordando este tema. And there's several uh, communication media that are on board with this matter now. I don't know if the uh, Reforma, which is like the Inquirer, already uh, put something on. Ya diferentes medios, sí. But um, other media have. 
donde dice, Tren Maya es premiado en la categoría creación de valor so y beneficios en foro. Same thing that it says there. El foro reconoce a líderes y a proyectos innovadores en Norteamérica en cinco categorías. Y dice, en el marco del undécimo foro de liderazgo de infraestructura de América del Norte, Oh, Undecimo is 11. So it's the 11th North American Project. El proyecto de Tren Maya fue ganador en la categoría de creación de valor y beneficio de los premios Oracle Proyecto del Año. Durante el Undecimo Foro de Liderazgo de Infraestructura en Norteamérica. Awesome. ¿Qué dice hoy la gente? So what is the people saying now? What are they saying now? Regarding this great news. So what are they saying? Let's see. So let's see. So, so this, this one. Oh, okay. So this girl says, Oh, uh, he says, so what's going on? Is there a disaster? Did you lose an eye? Did your uh, fingers become atrophied uh, in order that you can't Twitter anymore? Is it possible that your internet went uh, out? Because I don't see you on here talking about this. And then she says, Mexico has uh, very good, is doing very well. And even if you... Uh, Put up, um, uh, what is it when you do, uh, when even if you throw tantrums uh, and if you keep looking for a, uh, a grain of rice, you're not going to find it, right? Mexico, Tren Maya. Mexico va bien y de buenas, aunque hagan berrinche y se la pasen buscando el negrito en el arroz. Estos son... Algunos de los comentarios que están hablando sobre eso. Si la... So here's some of the commentaries that they're saying about it. Because see, the opposition has always had something to say negative, right? So when this came out, none of them made any mention. I don't see Fox. You know, Vicente Fox always has something to say, but he, he's not saying nothing now. Las redes sociales enloquecieron por todo este tema del Tren Maya. Aquí lo vemos. Tren Maya fueron parte del taller de bordado y confección de blusa. Un, un, de verdad es un proyecto que está dando mucho, por supuesto, mucho de qué hablar. Y vamos a ver algunos de sus comentarios. So we're going to see some of their commentaries. So it says, she says, oh, it's going to be luxurious. And I want to uh, uh, travel in that magnificent train. And then, That's what the first one says. Va a estar de lujo. Ya quiero viajar en este magno tren. Dice, es con hechos. ¿Cómo se demuestra el amor? So it's with acts how you demonstrate the, the love for your people. And um, when he demonstrated also that uh, there is no uh, excessive costs uh, or money that was behind that will hurt the opposers. Or al pueblo y cuando se demuestre también que no hay sobrecostos como antaño dolerá más a los opositores. Gabri dice por acá muchas felicidades a la cuarta transformación. So here they're saying uh, like um, salutations or congratulations to the fourth T, fourth transformation of Mexico. Um, this is It is now a reality. We will have a train. We've been waiting, um, that, and we hope that it's not the only one. We want trains, the comfort for the Mexicans. Uh, we want the country to develop. We want um, its full potential because the people deserve it, and also the foreigners as well. Formación. Es una realidad. Tendremos tren, esperemos no sea el único. Queremos trenes y comodidad para los mexicanos. Queremos que el país desarrolle todo su potencial porque la gente lo merece y los extranjeros 
también. Y dice, apoyo su petición, queremos trenes modernos y seguros. México está atrasado en materia de comunicación por trenes y que sean eléctricos al menos. So that one said that, you know, that he uh, thinks that, that they are behind uh, in some of the development and that it'd be nice that they'd be electronic too. Así están las cosas. So Esto, that's how things amigos, are. Está ya dando sin duda la vuelta por todo el mundo ya que fue premiado este proyecto. De... So of course this is now going to be uh, traveling all around the world this news because it's been uh, awarded this prize. La cuarta transformación fue premiado en un evento, en un, en un, en una, en un, en un evento internacional. Así como lo estamos escuchando. Y sí, es real. Es real lo que nos comentan sobre todo este tema. ¿En dónde están hoy? So he says yes, and it's real. Especially what they comment uh, today. Los que critican todo el tiempo. These that critique all the time. ¿Se les fue el internet? Did they lose their internet? ¿Se fracturaron los dedos? Did they fracture their, their fingers? ¿Por qué no están tuiteando? Why are they not tweeting? ¿O ahora cuál es el lío? Or today, what's the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Amigos, amigas, esto sin duda son excelentes noticias. So this, my friends, without a doubt, is excellent news. Y seguramente el presidente Andrés Manuel López Obrador mañana tocará el tema. And surely the president tomorrow at the conference will uh, touch on the subject. Sobre este premio mundial, yo lo digo así. Es... Over this uh, world uh, or uh, world prize. Es un premio internacional. Es un premio... And, I, and I say it like that because it's international. Mundial which means in the world. So this project, the Train Maya, a project that, que desarrollará la economía that will develop the, the economy en el sur del país. in the south of the country. Que por mucho tiempo, because we must not forget, or we need to remember, that for a very long time, se ha abandonado the, the, it has been abandoned. El sur del país. The south of the country. Se ha atendido únicamente el norte. They've only attended to the northern border. En el centro. And in the center. Se ha beneficiado a personajes del norte. Del... And so they've benefited the people from the north and from the central areas. Centro. Ha habido amigazgos con el gobierno. And they've had people that had uh, friends in government and that they precisely benefited al norte, al centro, to the north and to the uh, center y el sur, and the south was definitely abandoned que le puchi al and it seems like they used to go uh, pewee sur del país. Oh. to the south of the country Hoy, con este magno proyecto, and today with this Magnum project está empezando con el pie derecho, ¿sí? that is starting off on its right foot, Duda, se espera una derrama económica. we expect an economical overflow A modo que el sur del país crezca económicamente. in order that the southern part of our country will grow economically. Y deje de existir como en Chiapas, como en that it will uh, stop being like in Chiapas Tabasco, and like Tabasco otros estados, and other s states as well pobreza extrema. with extreme poverty. Así las cosas. Es, and that's how things are. También a Hidalgo, al de, and will also benefit the state of Hidalgo where Hooka's from. Hidalgo, porque Los ferrocarriles se because the railways harán aquí en Hidalgo will be made in the state of Hidalgo. 
si no mal recuerdo, en Ciudad Sagún. And if, uh, if he recalls correctly, it's going to be in the city of Sagún. Pertenece a Hidalgo, entonces un proyecto que sin duda beneficiará a México. And so this is a project that without a doubt will benefit Mexico. En general. In general. Amigos, amigas, muchas gracias My por friends, estar por acá. and thank you Les very much for being here with us. Canal, Vivo, and he uh, asked you to join his channel, Juca en Vivo, which is Juca Live. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I just was so impressed with this young man, um, and I wanted um, to, to let you guys see um, what's going on in Mexico. Uh, believe me, there's... There's so much going on, and we it behooves us to know because some of these things are things that are, we will now know that it is possible to attain, that it is possible for us to have things such as free education, um, uh, medical care, medications that won't take us to the, to the poor house, uh, education, I mean, I can't say education enough, <laughs> But, you know, help for the elderly, help for the um, handicapped. Um, I, there's so many things. You have to watch it daily so you can hear everything that's going on because there's there's like a list of, a, I think, of about 170 things that AMLO has done and that many of them, uh, he's even bringing the debt down because he's not allowing corruption. So... Most of the money was going to the corrupt officials. Now it's going to the people, and that's where it should go. All right, you guys. Thank a lot. Uh, thank you a lot, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have a channel called English Amlovision, and uh, I need subscribers on that one because I want to convert my regular Amlovision into the Spanish. Um, speaking channel because I do want to do um, programs in Spanish too for the Mexican people. But I, you know, Amlovision is, is uh, uh, both English and Spanish. Uh, it, it can be translated in both English and Spanish. But the word English Amlovision will mean that it's going to be in English. So I'm going to work on getting this sorted out so I can have only the English programs on the English Amlovision channel and then the Spanish programs on the Spanish Amlovision channel. Okay, so if you want uh, to see the matters in English, join my English Amlovision channel. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave me comments. I always like to answer them. Thanks. Bye.